Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about activation versus uh, effect. And specifically negate effect and negate activation is what we'll be focusing on today. And th there is a difference. So if we have, uh, for example, Baron de Floor, and let's say we have Poor Load Savage. So these two both negate effect. So the difference between Borload Savage's negate and Baron de Flores negate is primarily that uh, Borload Savage Dragon does not destroy, but it still negates effect, all right? Or not effect, it negates specifically uh, the activation of an effect, not an effect. So then we have cards like Therion Regulus, which do negate effect, as well as the sprite negate, so carrot and uh, red. These guys negate effect as well. And there is uh, an important difference and distinction between the two kinds of uh, negates here. So before I get too into it, we'll, we'll start off with, there are some cards that actually just care the, just straight up, so We'll start with uh, Branded Loss. Wait, not Branded Loss. But Bra Bra Branded Lost. Uh, okay. So, Branded Lost here says, The activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that Fusion Summons of Fusion Monster cannot be negated. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when a monster is Fusion Summoned this way. So, Focusing on just the first part, the activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that Fusion Summon cannot be negated. So, it cannot be negated. Specifically, only the activation cannot be negated, is what it's saying here. But this means, however, that the effect can be negated. And that is how, if you have Branded Loss, for example, up against Ash Blossom Joy Spring, which is also negate effect. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring ignores the protection on Branded Loss because it doesn't protect against Ash Blossom Joy Spring because Ash Blossom Joy Spring does not negate activation. Pretty simple there. And then there is also um, Sub Terror. So if we go to Final Battle, Final Battle says. Well, we're focusing on the last effect here. This turn, activated effects of Subterra cards cannot be negated. So this is the reverse, essentially. It protects against negates like, for example, Therian King Regulus, Ash Blossom Joy Spring, but it does not protect against Baron de Flor or Borload Savage Dragon, which both negate activations and not effects. So... That th this is honestly a bit weird, but uh, th this is honestly just the starting point for this. It gets more confusing. And I, I guess th there's also Magical Meltdown, which is also in this weird category of your cards cannot be negated except, y yes they can, I, I guess. that If there were a category of cards, that that's what I would call them. The activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster cannot be negated. Also, your opponent's cards and effects can activate when a monster is fusion summoned this way. So once again, same thing. So it's the activation once again that cannot be negated, but the effect itself can be. As confusing as that is. So, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll just stop there for now, I guess. Yeah, so, all of these effects, depending on, like, which one it is, so this one, uh, activation cannot be negated, this one's also activation, so, technically all of these cards here, uh, Sprite Carrot, Sprite Red, and Therian King Regulus all bypass the protection, because Therian King Regulus here, this negates effect, as you can see here, negate that effect, and then this says negate the activation. So there is a difference, even though like it seems a little obscure. Yeah. 
and it's just somewhat confusing like that. So let's go to Doom King Ballad Rock, for example. So Doom King Ballad Rock is also a negate, kind of. That this is a bit different. So I'll read this effect for you guys. We're focusing on this one. Once per chain, when a zombie monster except Doom King Ballad Rock activates its effect. Except during the damage step quick effect, you can apply one of these effects, but you cannot apply that same effect of Doom King Ballad Rock again this turn to keep that effect, or banish a monster from the field or graveyard. So notably it says, this cannot uh, chain onto something that activates during the damage step. But uh, yeah, it still has a negate effect. So, fun fact. Uh, anything that simply negates for effect, anyways, cannot activate during the damage step. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why this exists, but that, that's basically how every single negate effect card works. It, it's just a ruling, I guess. I, I don't even know where you would find this ruling exactly, but it, it's probably somewhere. And it's, like, fairly obscure, like, a good amount of players might not know about it. So Baron de Floor, for example, can activate during the damage step, for load Savage Dragon as well. But a card like, for example, Spray Red, Carrot, Doom King Ballad Rock, Thurian King Regulus, all of these cannot activate during the damage step. So let, let's just go with something simple. So let's say we have Sangan, okay? So Sangan will be normal summoned and then attack into one of your monsters and it will be destroyed by that battle and get sent to the graveyard and then that will trigger Sangan's effect and then dur during this chain you cannot chain Ash Blossom and Joy Spring because this negates effect so does not work all right Doom King Ballad Rock you can't chain Doom King Ballad Rock it says so here that you can't uh, during the damage step, chain this, right? Or use this effect or whatever, right? But, like, it doesn't say this on Therian King Regulus, as you can see here. But you will not be able to chain Therian King Regulus or Sprite Red or Carrot, which also do not mention, like, the damage step at all. But that is certainly a damage step moment. So, yeah. You just can't do anything about the Sangan search here. Another example would be like, namely something that increases uh, attack defense. Those cards can be activated during the damage step. Or we can even go ahead and bring out Crusadia Avramax. So let's say we have Mech Knight, Crusadia, Evermax here. This has the lovely effect of uh, once per battle during damage calculation. If this card battles a special summon monster, quick effect, you can make this card gain attack equal to that opponent's monster's attack during that damage calculation only. If this Link Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card, you can shuffle one card on the field into the deck. So Mech Knight, Crusadia, Evermax's effect here happens during damage calculation which is uh even further in than damage step i believe technically right maybe i, I don't remember the exact details it's just pre pretty annoying to explain da damage step right but essentially uh around the damage step or damage calc or whatever yeah, just some sometime around there. Uh, the only cards that can typically be activated there as quick effect are going to be cards that can uh, modify attack values or defense values. And this happens like at end of damage, damage I guess. Like when Sangang gets destroyed, that counts as end of damage. So, still can't negate Sangan, I guess. But uh, anyways, going back to Crusadia Evermax. So, with a card like Doom King Ballad Rock, Thurian King Regulus, 
or uh, Sprite Red, you would not be able to negate Magnetic Crusadia Evermax's effects. But however, with Baron de Flor and Borload Savage Dragon, you would be able to negate uh, Crusadia Evermax's um, effect to get attack, essentially. So it would be possible, for example, for you to use either Borload Savage or Baron de Flor to crash into Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax to remove it by negating its effect to gain attack. And that, that would work, because you can negate activation, allowing you to negate the effect. But you would not be able to use, like, Doom King Ballad Rock or Therian King Regulus. Just because, I guess. That, that's how the ruling works. And let's see. An another card, I guess, that's worth some that's somewhat worth mentioning is uh we actually have this card. Let's see if I can find it. I'm feeling super blind right now. Damn. So let's see. Alright, finally found it. Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. So Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray has an assortment of effects, but we're focusing on this one. Once per turn, while this card is equipped with a ZW monster card quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls to negate its effects, and if you do, help its attack. So this card here is has a what what one might call a targeted negate. So, this targeted negate is especially interesting because, so, you firstly can target a effect monster, your opponent controls, negate its effects. And it doesn't really specify, but what this does is it only negates the on-field effect, so if a card were to go into the graveyard, I, I don't know why, but if it were to go into the graveyard, this negate just doesn't work anymore. So, cool. And then, aside from that, this can activate in the damage step, despite being like, uh, essentially negate effect, be because it halves attack. Uh, but uh, also, if there is no attack to halve, this effect doesn't work, because it must half attack. So, I, I guess that that's how it works, right? Because the halving of attack is mandatory. So, yeah. That's also a thing. If you do not meet the conditions for a mandatory effect, I guess, would be how I would phrase it. Like, it it doesn't work because of how it's phrased, I guess. This one is, and if you do, help its attack. It, because of, like, being an and, it, it, it can't resolve, I guess. But, like, for example, uh, well, let's put this in the deck for a second. For, for example, Sharon is a bit different, though. Let's see, what does this say? During your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Then send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. So, th th this is more convoluted. So, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, you this is mandatory. You have to send one monster from your hand, to the graveyard and then send th send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard I, I don't remember if this was bugged or not but yeah Th this is a bit different because the this has like I would argue really trash wording so since this is all effect you can special summon this card from your hand and then if you do, you uh, send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. This is, like, this entire effect technically is mandatory. Every part of this is mandatory. But it's a bit different, I guess. It's kind of hard for me to explain, I suppose, but whatever. So, you will send a monster from your hand to the graveyard or attempt to do so after you special summon this card. So, at the very least, you require a monster in your hand to activate this effect. Otherwise, you can't do it. Then, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. This 
is after this. So if this actually doesn't happen, then uh, you don't send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. So effects can be weird in this way, I, I guess. So let's say Macrocosmos is on the field. If we attempt to summon Shirin, Shirin will be special summoned. It will be put on the field and then we will send a mon well attempt to send a monster from our hand to the graveyard, but instead it will be banished. So then we do not send the top three cards of our deck to the graveyard. That that's how this works. And also, just just for example, if we have a Therion in the graveyard with Therion King Regulus, we have this lovely effect. You can target a Therion monster or one machine monster in your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, equip that monster to this card. So effects also try to resolve as much as possible. So if we uh Activate the effect of Therian King Regulus, and then our opponent chains to Called By, targeting our uh, Therian monster we targeted, or Machine Monster. Therian King Regulus will still special summon itself, but it will not be able to equip that monster to this card, so we will simply just have Therian King Regulus. So that's kind of the same thing there. But like, Nibiru is a bit different than this, so... there. Okay. If your opponent normally special summon five or more monsters this turn, quick effect, you can tribute as many face-up monsters on the field as possible, and if you do special summon this card from your hand, then special summon a primal being token to your opponent's field. So uh Nibiru is kind of different from like Sharon and Regulus a bit. So let, let's say the condition is met and your opponent has normal or special summoned five or more monsters this turn so going through this effect you can tribute as many face up monsters on the field as possible and if you do special summon this card from your hand then special summon a primal being token so what if you're unable to special summon a token but you're still technically allowed to tribute the face up monsters on the field and special summon nibiru the primal being like token collectors on the field this is actually not allowed to resolve because you have to summon the Primal Being token. That is part of the effect. And... Yeah. If you can't, you can't summon Nibiru, I guess. Be because, yes. Rulings. S simply put. And... If you cannot special summon Nibiru, technically also not activatable. And if you cannot tribute, Technically also not activatable. But um, if we go ahead and say like, for example, token collector was summoned like chain two to Nibiru, then Nibiru just resolves as normal. That, yeah, that's not confusing at all. Well, whatever. So anyways, point is this can activate during damage around damage calc because of the effect here that allows you to uh, halve attack. If it did not have halve attack, this would not be activatable then during the damage step or damage calc or whatever. I, I don't remember the exact thing. Like it's like start of damage, end of damage, like all of that. Don't remember the exact minute details. I just have the general idea, honestly. His damage calc and all that is still a little bit confusing for me, but yeah, whatever. And uh, just for reference, Mirror Force doesn't actually uh, work the same way, so. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters, so this is on attack declaration. So... This is probably negatable by Therian King Regulus, I believe, because uh, this is on the declaration of the attack, so that that's not going to uh, count for Therian King Regulus' condition, I believe. This is just somewhat relevant, though, whenever you're facing off against Sky Striker, for example. So, good to know about these rulings ahead of time, I suppose. Well, yeah. I recommend you guys research a bit more on your own, just in case I miss something. Well, whatever. Well, that's about all I've got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye.